welcome back to my channel. It's definitely the holidays around here. I think I just skipped over Thanksgiving and went straight to Christmas. I hope you guys are okay with that. Now where I'm from originally, we don't actually celebrate Thanksgiving. So, I mean, I'll take a day off. I'm not complaining, but it's snowing outside and it's gotten really, really cold here in Fargo. So I'm skipping past Thanksgiving and going straight to Christmas. So anyway, I just got off work. I look like a hot mess. You guys, I literally like tried to touch up my lipstick. It like went all over the place. I, my foundation is like breaking up. So I just like try to like buff it in and threw some highlighter on and threw on this shirt and threw on these earrings. So hopefully you guys don't mind, but I thought it would be really, really fun to film my Sephora Rouge haul. So here it is in this huge giant box. And yeah, let's dive into it. I didn't pick up too much because the friends and family sale happened a couple of weeks ago and I did get a coupon code thanks to my friend Marissa from Sephora here in Fargo. And so I was able to shop online with that coupon code, which was super helpful. If you guys want to see that haul, I'll link it up in the cards. It's long, so I'm going to try and rush through this one because I don't want to sit there and talk about every single product extensively because I will review everything for you guys on my channel. Also, really quick, I do want to mention I do have an active giveaway on my channel. I will link it down in the description box, so make sure to check that out. Also, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me out. I upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me. So I do hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. Also, guys, December is my birthday month, so I do have a bunch of giveaways I'm going to probably try and throw together. So definitely, definitely subscribe because I want you guys to take advantage of all of that fun stuff. Okay, that's everything I wanted to mention. So I did open the box. I can't remember what is exactly in there. There's some little perfume sample cards that they send with the orders for holiday. I also picked up another one of these. I'm slowly accumulating these 250 point perks. I think these are so cute. They're little like trays, like ceramic trays. And they say wake up to makeup. And I just thought these might be like fun gifts for my girlfriends or, you know, a stocking stuffer for somebody. So I've been accumulating those. If my friends are watching this video, spoiler alert, one of you will probably get one of those. So I just reached into my box and the first thing I did grab is the... Sunday Riley Flora Hydroactive Cellular Face Oil. Now I already have the Juno Oil and the Luna Oil. I talked about that in my Sephora haul from April Revisited video. Again, I will throw that up in the cards for you guys if you're interested in watching that. I actually have a Sephora VIB sale playlist. So I will put that in the description box as well as the end of this video so you guys can watch the whole playlist because I have a recommendations video. I have my friends and family haul. I've got a bunch of videos related to the sale. And since the sale starts again at the end of this week, I believe, for VIBs and Beauty Insiders, I think, are getting to shop this time as well. And then VIB Rouge gets another round as well. So if you're looking for recommendations and stuff, I would highly recommend those videos. Anyway, that was my long-winded way of saying I picked up a few of their oils. So I wanted to grab some more of their products, especially at the sale time. So I thought I would add this to my collection. And the reason I picked this one up is because it says it's nourishing Russian, Turkish, and Bulgarian red roses in a rich base of hydrating botanicals, quenches very dry skin, and fights the appearance of wrinkles. So this is for very dry, dehydrated, weather weary, or mature skin. This nourishing blend of something something and vitamins restores youthful radiance texture and deep hydration so the juno oil is very hydrating but this flora one looks like it's definitely tailored to hydration as well and since i mentioned it's snowing it's cold it's like 28 degrees here right now i was like you know what i'm just gonna add this to my skincare regimen especially when i can get it on sale why not so i purchased this and i'm really really excited to try that on my face and tell you guys my thoughts on that product okay guys so these are two items that i actually can't believe were still in stock when i purchased them i think they're actually still in stock because i actually bought some more because i thought these would make really good gifts especially 
you know, if you guys like to travel with your makeup and stuff. And I think I saw Kathleen Lights maybe talk about this bag. This is called Vacationer, and this is by Sephora Collection, and it's one of their travel makeup bags. And I have something very similar to this from Sonia Kashuk. This one's actually a little bit smaller, but I just really thought now was the time. This was on sale for $24 and then 20% off, so I figured I'd pick it up. But it has like some sections here for your makeup and some spots for little like things and then a spot for your brushes as well. So I just remember somebody on YouTube, I think it was Kathleen Lights mentioning that she really liked these travel bags. So I thought since I could pick it up on sale, I might as well check it out. So I did grab one of those and then this one I actually got a few extras to give as gifts. I don't really know who I'm gonna, you know, give them to yet. But I just thought, you know, everyone likes a good travel makeup bag. And this one is called The Weekender, I believe. I just thought this was really cool because I actually don't have a bag like this. This one has the little hanger. So if you are traveling, you could just like hang this in the hotel bathroom. There's some big pockets up here where you can put your liquids. Again, a good spot for your brushes and more space over here. So I just thought these were two nice, well-made bags for me to add to my collection. I would highly recommend if you guys are looking for gifts as well because with the sale, I mean, the Weekender was like $19 plus I got 20% off. So I'm thinking those are gonna be really nice gifts for somebody and of course two for myself. Okay guys, so I did decide to use some of my point perks. So I picked up some little items. So I picked up the Sunday Riley CEO Creme Hydrate bunch of stuff so I'm going to try that out. I got the cover effects mattifying primer with anti-acne treatment. That sounds like a good one and then this is the Nest fragrance in black tulip. I believe these point perks are all available. Let's smell this quick. I've been so into like berry tones recently. It's crazy. This is so cute you guys. I've never owned anything from Nest Oh, I like that. It's one of those musky scents, you know, kind of reminds me of like YSL Black Opium. And then I got the Mira Retinol Youth Renewal Serum. So it looks like that. So I'll try all of those out and see if anything catches my attention. Okay, so the next item I got is the Little Lemon Drop by the brand Dry Bar. And this is basically the smaller version of their hairbrush that they have. And this is 10 bucks. And I was like, Oh cool, I'll put it in my purse and use it to brush my hair. But I was actually walking through Ulta today and I realized how tiny this is. And I really don't need to spend $10 on a hairbrush. I mean, it's kind of bougie. So I think I'm already deciding in my brain to take this back because I really don't need it. And I'm trying to do this thing where I don't buy shit that I don't need. Um, This I wanted to pick up. I didn't realize how small this was gonna be. This is the L'Occitane Mains Hand Cream Delights is what it's called. And I always go back and forth during the holidays on whether I should pick this up or not. And I did order this set. It was 19 bucks, but these were so tiny. I didn't realize how small they were gonna be. I just thought it'd be nice to keep it on my desk at work since my hands get pretty dry. So I don't know if I'm gonna trade up to the bigger set this weekend. Maybe I'll just return this one and just get the bigger set because I don't know that I'm gonna need like little teeny tiny hand creams. Like that's like maybe a little too small. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Although it does take me forever to get through stuff, so maybe this size will last me till the next sale. Okay, let me show you guys this quick. Now this was my big purchase. Like I didn't buy a lot of things, guys, but the things I got were pretty spendy. So I know Makeup Forever has an eyeshadow palette out for the holidays, but I was really attracted to this palette when I saw it posted on Trend Mood, and then it wasn't available right away, and it has been available for a couple of days, and so I was like eyeing it, eyeing it, and I was like, nope, I'm not buying it full price. I'm going to wait for the sale. Let's just pray it doesn't sell out. So I've been dying to try these Makeup Forever new face powders that they came out with, and I just thought this would be an amazing way to try them. This is a $150 palette, you guys, but I can just see myself like really dipping into this. I don't need a face product anytime soon, but this just looked so delicious on the internet. So if you guys are in the market for a fun face palette, I would recommend. A lot of people are saying that this won't work for, you know, one particular skin tone because I think it does cover multiple skin tones. But I think looking at this, the only thing I probably can't use 
is this shade and sometimes I do makeup on other people so I feel like this is going to be a really nice versatile palette for me. Really really excited to play with this. This is definitely one of those like splurge items that I wanted to pick up so if you guys have been eyeing this here is what it looks like. I will maybe swatch this for you guys and then review it as well in one of my upcoming videos. The holidays here at my house have been pretty much like dedicated to Huda. It's a little bit crazy. She's made such a comeback in my brain personally because I have not purchased from her in a long time and then she came out with some awesome, awesome products. I picked up the nude set in my friends and family haul and I figured I would go for the browns as well because I only have trendsetter I believe in my collection right now of her liquid lipsticks and I'm really enjoying this formula and I love that you can get her lipsticks in mini sizes because I'm never going to go through these lipsticks and it's so nice to have like a little bit of a savings but then still being able to accumulate all of her liquid lipsticks not in full size which I think is amazing. I'm wearing one of her shades right now as well. This is from the lip contour sets. I think it's like the burgundy shade but yeah I'm so excited to have these browns in my collection so you get trendsetter which I already have and I love that color and then you get flirt spice girl and vixen okay, these are her little mini palettes that she just launched as well so I'm so excited I couldn't pick so of course I bought all of them and you guys probably already know that they're really tiny but I don't really mind the black in this one is cracked so I don't know if Sephora will just replace that for me but that is, ooh, so that was just from me tapping into this. So this is the Smoke Obsessions palette. I'm gonna try and be really careful, guys, but super pretty. I'm gonna do a swatch party video for you guys. So if that's up already, I'll link it up in the cards. This is the Warm Browns. I just, I know I'm gonna enjoy these and how fun to like travel with these because they're so compact. You don't even need a humongous palette anymore. A lot of people didn't buy this one, but I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna buy them, I'm gonna buy them all. So this is the Electric Obsession. These colors are speaking to me on a spiritual level. And then this last one is called Mob Obsession. And this is what it looks like. And it comes with a cute little mirror too. So I think these are really, really nice compacts that are gonna be nice and travel friendly on the go for you guys. Okay guys, that is everything I picked up during the Sephora VIB Rouge sale. I did get a few other odds and ends right before the sale ended because I was panicking, of course. So I will come back to you guys with another haul. I look forward to that in a future video here. I will have another haul for you guys. Um, but let me know what you're excited to purchase in the sale starting again this weekend. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and enter that giveaway down in the description box, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a good one. Bye!